We're starting a vlog. Hello. Because, because why are we starting a vlog? Uh, maternity leave. <laughs> yes, so we have been working like crazy, so we haven't been doing anything except for working. But we finished all of our orders, so we're on maternity leave. So we are like beyond survival mode. So, and we're actually doing something. We're gonna make some delicious meatballs. Yeah, I'll flip you around. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna make these amazing meatballs that um, I, most people have probably had. I actually never have though. Oh, it's grape jelly and chili sauce mixed together in a crock pot with already <laughs> cooked meatballs. Yeah. It's really easy recipe. So it's meatballs, chili sauce. chili sauce, and grape jelly. Yes. We're kind of guessing on the measurements because they needed like a ton of meatballs and we don't have like we don't need the, even this. This is a ton of meatballs. We're going to have yeah, lots of leftovers. Know. It smells like ketchup. It looks like ketchup. Is it ketchup? Well, it's called chili sauce. Oh. But. And then we scoop in the grapes, jelly. Yeah. So Eric used to have this all the time and he's made this before. Uh, once I've made this before. Oh, only once? Oh my yes. gosh. You bumped the camera. It's okay. So. And so, I, so the church I used to go to in Washington would have these like team meetings and a lot of times they would alternate through different things that people would cook and one of them was these meatballs and I used to love these meatballs and I'd eat constantly. I did like half, right? Isn't it? About half. Well, we'll, we'll see. And then should we mix them up? Did you use, so you used about almost half the entire and thing. almost the entire thing. Let's keep these in case we need more sauce. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sorry, I feel like I'm doing terrible camera work. But so just sort of mix it together. Yeah, you have to come back in a little bit and stir it more. But it's just uh, going to be on low for like three to four hours. And then what are we serving with this, Eric? We're having mashed potatoes with it. So I was on keto for three weeks. <laughs> and then I got something on my ear. Or in my They're ear. They're not going to be able to see it. And it's swole, it's what it's swollen. It's putting pressure on my jaw, which hurts. So it's something like an ingrown hair or a pimple or. So I'm on antibiotics again, which messes up. Because they are because they're treating him for staph infection just in case because I'm pregnant and I'm going to be uh, delivering soon. Yeah. So, so they want to treat him just in case to make sure. Yeah, so I'm on like a whole bunch of different antibiotics and stuff, and so I'm really annoyed because I was doing so well. I was losing weight again. Yeah, but <sighs> it's okay. So this is what it looks like all stirred up, um, and that's what we're going to have. So I'm going to make also some roasted asparagus, so we'll have this. And we're just making what kind of mashed potatoes? Just like microwave ones. We're trying to keep things simple because... Yeah, I, it's like the pre-made ones you can buy in the deli section, basically. Yeah, because I am feeling real Was pregnant. Low? Yeah, low. So that's that. It's so easy to do. I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I am not really good at, like, relaxing or taking breaks. Unless, like, I'm sitting by the pool with a refreshing, like, Diet Coke reading a book then I can relax all day long. Um, but I like, I am really struggling with like, uh, taking in content since I've been practice or since I've been pregnant because like, I get so anxious so soon. So like, I cannot take anything like stressful or anything. So I really have not been reading at all or else I totally would probably be reading a lot to like relax. Um, but I can do that very well. Um, right now because everything is stressing me out <laughs> so um but but what I really want to do during this maternity leave is I kind of want to try to like make my body and mind as my glasses are so dirty I'll just take them off for a sec um I just want to make my body and mind as ready for birth as possible so like for my body I'm going to like I really want to be as like as rested as possible at all points in times and then for my mind I just don't want to stress myself out um so 
so I do want to like we are definitely going to still be like working but we'll probably only be working like maybe three to four hours a day like prepping for the next launch for our business um and then originally I was thinking like okay in the morning I'm going to spend like working on sewing for the business and then for the afternoon and evening I'll just work on sewing projects for Sam but the problem I realize is is that I really really need to spend time elevating like elevating my feet so like either putting my feet up or laying down or something like that um or else I do tend to get swollen if I don't do that so I could go for a couple hours of sitting without my feet up and then I do t and then I just get swollen um and so and so I don't know if that much sewing is going to be super productive um, or super helpful in resting my body because when I get all swollen, like my skin hurts and all these things happen. Um, so uh, I was trying to figure out what to do with myself. And then, um, and then we were just talking and it just popped into my mind like, uh, I have a Nintendo Switch. And I've heard a ton of things about this game called Animal Crossing, and it looks like the most not stressful thing in the entire world. Um, and so, and Eric wanted a new video game because he's trying, like, he loves video games. I don't know if you know that about him, but, like, he loves, loves, loves video games. Um, and, but, but he's probably not going to be able to play video games very much once Sam's born because God take care of the baby. Um, and so I was like, Eric, why don't you go get yourself a new game and then why don't, can you just pick me up that Animal Crossing game? Because I was thinking like, it's going to be something not stressful that I could do. Basically, it's just something to like occupy my mind so I don't, so I'm not tempted to push myself um, at all. And so I've been playing Animal Crossing for a couple hours and it's been fun. I'm really, really, really like not a video game person like I got I get caught up in Pokemon video games but it's just been like a new thing like I did like the Game Boy version like red version no I think I had the blue I think I had the yellow then I think I had the gold and I played Pokemon snaps when I was a kid and stuff like that and then my brother told me about this new version on the switch which is basically so um I got I've already played the two Pokemon games like I think it's Pokemon let's go and then the sword anyway sorry if this is boring you so anyway so that's why I have a switch is because Eric got it for me for my birthday a while ago and I love it it's really fun and then also we like we've played Mario Kart and Mario Party uh Super Smash Brothers with um our niece and nephew and and sister-in-law and their family up in Washington um which has been great so so far this animal crossing thing i just spent a couple hours with my feet up and i didn't feel torturous but now i'm like okay i did spend a couple hours playing video games but i'm not the kind of person that i can't play for a long time but so i am going to go so for sam so let me show you what i'm going to make so I have all, I don't, I don't remember if I filmed it. I have been sewing for him a ton, but I haven't really been showing you guys a lot what I've been sewing for him because, um, I, it's just been here or there or anything or something. So I'm going to make this. I have made, I made the short version once before, but I think I'm going to make it in this longer version and make it in the zero to three month size. Cause I think this longer version will be good for that size so I'm excited to see how it turns out all right dinner is ready not the most beautiful plates but I don't care so just the microwave mashed potatoes with the meatballs I dribbled the sauce and I just also dribble it some of the sauce I just roasted some asparagus and onions to have a little bit of vegetables so I'm excited dinner was amazing Whoever was the genius behind putting chili sauce and grape jelly together, amazing. It's so good. I loved it. I ate a lot of it. Super good. Um, so yeah, dinner was really good. I really liked it. That's going to be something that we'll probably have when Sam is born too because it's just easy. You throw it in the crock pot, 
kick it for five hours and it's great. So um, I give it 1,000 thumbs up. Also, yes, I did shave, thanks for asking. It is Monday now and so um, we're spending a couple of hours each work day um, kind of trying to like get the shop ready for the launching for after the baby is born. Um, so this is like bonus work. So technically it's work, it just doesn't feel like this. Um, but I picked out the new fabrics. So I thought I would show you what the new fabrics is going to be. So the theme or the collection is going to be like parks related and I'm really excited about it. So this is obviously like Tomorrowland inspired and one thing that I love about these fabric choices is like the all the details like no matter where I cut it there's going to be something really cool so it has like Space Mountain, Astro Blasters, Autopia and I like how it's like it almost is is um oh people mover it almost looks vintagey but it's not and the colors are gorgeous so that is one of them and then um this obviously is a little bit more simple but i think it's beautiful so obviously sleeping beauty's castle to me this looks a little bit more inspired by like the disneyland paris version of the sleeping Be beauty castle than the disneyland one but it's still awesome and i really like that it's on the black background because so many of fabrics um, have like a white background so this nice dark black background is awesome and then whoops come over here oh this is all folded weird we have fantasy land right isn't this just like this is a fabric I feel like I could stare at for a long time so we have toad the carousel Dumbo mad tea party snow white the castle alice there's it's just so nice and it's so bright and happy so we have fantasy land and then this next one is frontier land obviously so a nice thunder mountain country bears the mark twain river boat um oh they even have the goat with the dynamite <laughs> sailing ship Columbia so once again a lot a lot of great details on this one and then this last one is Adventureland same great detail so we have Indiana Jones Pirates Jungle Cruise well either Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse or oh and look at the little tiki birds coming into it yeah so I'm so excited for this launch and um yeah. So we're just having um, really, really simple goals. So my goals for today is to essentially get all of these things prepped, like cut the fabric out and do zippers and all these different things, but to just, just prepping things. And then tomorrow, Eric and I will make the bags and then different things like that so um yeah so just doing a little bit because my goal for this maternity leave is to actually rest but it's hard you want to show us what you got yeah look at sam's halloween costume that's well, one of them there's little candies that's so cute yeah Where'd you get this at? Just a Target. Just a like Target. 10 bucks for Target. Yeah, so Eric went, here are some of our snack foods that we're going to bring to the hospital, real healthy like. Um, <clears throat> and then, what Toilet are the trees. toiletries? And you want to show them the new shirt you got too? Oh, sure. Yeah, I got a nice shirt for myself <laughs> for when Sam gets here to wear. That's really cute. I think it's going to look good on you. Should we introduce them to our new friend? Yeah. This is why I can't be trusted to go to Costco by myself. I come home with friends. Guys, look at this is our rocking chair. Here, you hold him up, Eric, so they know exactly how big he is. I think he's like four feet tall, that's my guess. Okay, so he's standing. He's standing up next to Eric. Oh my gosh. This is so, this is adorable. <laughs> well, we have a new friend. 
Giant Mickey. Big. I know. He are leaning the same too. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, Eric should not be allowed to go to Costco or Target by himself. He can't be trusted. No, he cannot be trusted. Costco is recent too. We just got a card, so it's dangerous for me to go there. It's fun. But tell them what you discovered that we that you didn't get. What? All the keto. Oh, oh they have a bunch of keto stuff. They have. A big bag of keto pancake mix. They have like keto snacks, keto bread. So I'll be set once I start restart in a couple of weeks. And we're really hoping Kirkland diapers work out because they seem to be a pretty They're good. dirt cheap. They do have others like the Huggies and stuff too that are all big and cheaper. <laughs> Struggling. So that's what Eric was doing while I was working on the thing. Yeah, we used to think Olaf was big. I know, we used to think Olaf was huge and Stitch over here was pretty big. Oh my gosh, why does Stitch look so sad? Because he's in the corner. Oh, we should Nobody move. Nobody put Stitch in the corner. That's true, we should move it. And these guys, wow. All right, Operation Hospital Packing Gown, or Packing Bat, what? Gown? Oh. What am I talking about? So we will give you guys probably a separate video, probably if we get to it, of all the things that we're packing. But we have our list here and this thing is like the ultimate list. This is like the day of packing list for like chargers and phone cords and things like this. And so we're going to packing. be... Yeah. Being an adult right now. Oh. <laughs> look, look at all these hair ties. That, you did a great job getting me 37. Three. I think that's enough. For a You'll couple, lose all 37 of these, I bet. Eventually, <laughs> not in all in one day, I hope. Um, yeah, so so I'm going to be the Eric's going to be the putter weigher, and I will be the checklist person. <laughs> getting real, huh? It is certainly getting real. <laughs> I just have the cutest husband in the whole world. I don't know if you could tell, but he is getting so excited about Sam, and I just I love him so much. He, he's adorable. He's moving, but of course he stopped as soon as I turned the camera on. It's so hard for me to capture any movement. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He, I don't even know what that was. Oh, yeah. This little guy likes to keep me up with all his activity. Oh, hi. So this is a book that we ordered back when we found out we were pregnant. This is our favorite show. And somebody made a kid's book with the Thunder Mifflin kids. And so we're excited. They're so cute. Yeah, so we're excited to have Sam have this be his favorite book at some point. All right, here is our next really easy dinner, kind of using leftovers slash easy thing. So we just have a little salad kit thing that we toss together, some french fries. Eric um, is having his, basically we wanted to have like a meatball sandwich with our leftover meatballs, but I just felt like this maybe was a little too saucy, so I just have mine separate and some french fries. So we're just really trying to keep things simple, but still eat at home to save some money, but. This should be delicious. Hi, so it is Thursday now. It's been a little while. Had a dog. <laughs> Eric is making a lot of noise, helping me get something heavy. The thing wasn't locked, it was on the kitchen. The kitchen aid. Um. Anyways, <laughs> he's so funny. I love how dramatic he is. Anyway, so yesterday we had a doctor's appointment. We've been doing some work stuff and honestly have not been doing anything too exciting. So I haven't felt a real reason to pick up the camera. But um, we are going to be baking. Let me show you. So I am going to try to make lactation cookies. In this weird spot, because I had my butter out on it and I think the butter leaked a little bit. So, whatever. Um, so, lactation cookies. I am going to... I can still read it, though. It's a little greasy and gross, but oh well. Because I am trying to get things ready, and I have no idea if these work or if they're going to be gross or good or not. But the, this is from... Where is it from? Let's read it. How... 
sweeteats.com and it has like over 800 reviews on it so and it's supposedly good the only thing is is that these are chocolate chip cookies and i might be the only person in the entire world that does not really like chocolate chip cookies that much these are oatmeal but whatever like i could eat them it's just like maybe it's good that the i'm not going to be like super tempted to have a bunch of these before the baby comes but i am going to try it um so supposedly the ingredients that will help with lactations i like my intention is to like make these make the dough and then if it's not disgusting freeze it um so then i could just be having it whenever it's time to have the baby so these are the ingredients that i i believe is supposed to help with milk production so the rolled oats the brewer's yeast and the ground flax seed so these two the brewer's yeast and the ground flax seed are oh and the oats i believe are are my gosh my brain these two i had to buy on amazon everything else is basically normal things so let's get started all right friends i am not even going to try to pretend that i'm going to make this all nice and neat and pretty looking for you guys because i am just trying to get this done and not tire myself out it is crazy how just doing the most basic simple things when you're like 38 and a half weeks pregnant can tire you out so i just put the rolled oats in and then i'm going to have flour so have you guys ever heard of this brand of flour i haven't but um eric got it for me i don't know if you remember the video it was near my birthday so like towards the end of march and I got into making bread for like a half, like a day and a half, and um, but it was when it was really hard to get supplies. So Eric was able to find me flour, and when he found it, he got a bunch and bunch and bunch for me. Um, and then I got out of really having because it was in my first trimester and I was not feeling good. So poor guy got me a bunch of things, and then I was like. And I'm done. Alright, so I'm going to mix some of the other ingredients and I'll just show you what I did. Okay, so here are my ingredients. So I already have the ro rolled oats on the bottom, the flour, then this is the brewer's yeast, flax seed, baking powder and soda, cinnamon and salt. This flax seed, if you've seen, I don't know how long ago it was, but Eric tried to make a keto recipe. I think it was for chicken tenders and it used flaxseed. He did use the wrong kind, but he is scarred from that. And so, even though you saw, like, you can't even see the flaxseed in here, he will not try these cookies because it has flaxseed in them. And he was like, it was the most, that was the most disgusting thing. He hated it. Um, but I'm going to try it because I didn't try those chicken nuggets or chicken things he made. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to mix these up. I mean, I, it just smells like cinnamon, which is awesome. I have the butter and the sugar mixing up in here. One thing that um, I am changing is the recipe does call for butter and coconut oil. Um, but I didn't have and kind of honestly didn't want to use coconut oil because I didn't want to buy it just for this. Um, and but. She said you could use all butter, but it'll just make the cookies a little flatter, and I'm totally fine with that, so I, I'm i still following the recipe. It's just a recommended substitute. Egg and egg yolk added. Time for another spin. Vanilla. Mmm, going to smell so good after this. Yeah, smells great. And just going to add, oops. All right, can't do this one-handed. Going to add the wet and dry ingredients together. Okay, I guess I'm making one more change to the cookie recipe. So, uh, you can see I have a mixture of regular chocolate chips and like these baby chocolate chips. It's just because it's what we had and I didn't want to buy different kinds. 
Um, I don't think that'll change the recipe much, so I'm just going to mix them up. All ready to go. I'm going to bake these for 10 minutes. I'm just making a couple. They look bigger than they are because um, this pan is tiny. So just going to bake them and see if these are edible or not. All right, I guess I was fooling myself. These are pretty big cookies, but they're out. So let's do a taste tester. My mom already tried one and she said that they're super good. She really likes them. Oh, I didn't let it cool because I didn't want to. Oh. Oh. They taste like a cookie. It's not weird at all. I'm trying to see if I could taste anything weird. I mean, it tastes like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. I could really taste the cinnamon. I dumped a little bit extra because it fell out. And, but it's good because I really like cinnamon. Mmm. Oh, these are good. I don't know if they work, but they're good. It's been a little while since I've ate the cookies now. Basically, I just went and I um, turned the dough into like little balls and froze them now that I know that they're edible. And I would totally recommend trying these um, because like the texture wasn't weird. The aftertaste wasn't weird. It just tasted like oatmeal chocolate chip cookie like it was it was good especially if you sorry i'm looking for a place to rest my hand because uh i am a little tired but anyways um i if if there wasn't like the pandemic thing or things going around um and like you could actually visit people i think this would be such a good like part of a gift to a new mom if you like make either make some up or like bring some of the frozen dough over so she could have it who knows if it works you know but this <laughs> i don't know but it's very much of like a situation where it's the thought that counts like you're thinking of the new mom and they're not disgusting like they're i think if i like like if honestly i would love these if i had raisins in them instead of chocolate chips i hope you guys will still continue to watch these videos even though i said that because Eric thinks that's basically an abomination to want raisins, oatmeal raisins instead of oatmeal chocolate chip. I like oatmeal raisins better. Um, yeah, and it made a lot, and it was easy. So I feel like like make like this would be such a good addition to like a little care basket if you're like going over and visiting a new baby. Which once again, I don't know if a lot of people are doing that right now. But um, yeah. So even if you aren't having a baby this is a good recipe I think just to like keep in the back of your mind um okay um I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm gum I'm out of breath <laughs> to be honest um and I don't know if we're really doing much anything um so next time you see me I might be getting ready to go to the hospital but maybe not we don't know, right? Only only God knows when he's going to send Sam to us. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.